In this video, I'll describe an application of the chain rule called implicit differentiation. Here is a graph y equals f of x and a point on the graph, and here is a line that is tangent to f at the point. How would we go about finding the slope of this tangent line? At this point, the slope of a tangent line is the ratio of a tiny change in y to a tiny change in x. In order for this to work, we need to make sure that if we zoom in near the point that we're interested in, the graph looks very close to a straight line. So the slope of our tangent line matches the slope of the function at that point. Let's think about how this works in a slightly more complicated situation. Here is a circle with radius r. The formula for the relationship between x and y is x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where r is a constant number. You probably notice that this isn't a function. For example, when x is 0, there are two corresponding y values. However, if we zoom in on one of these points, on this small section of the graph, y is a function of x. So let's rewrite the y as explicitly a function of x. And now we can compute the derivative by taking the derivative of each term in this expression. Let's think about how we can work with this. If we look at the first term, the derivative of x squared with respect to x is just 2x. If we look at the last term, since r is a constant number, its derivative is 0. Now, let's think about that term in the middle. It actually looks like it's a composition of functions, where the outer function is x squared, and the argument, or the inner function, is f of x. So, using the chain rule, the derivative of this term is 2 times f of x times the derivative of f of x. What we just did here was a technique called implicit differentiation, where we used the chain rule without having an explicit formula for f of x. Putting this together, we have 2x plus 2f of x times f prime of x equals 0. We can do some algebra, and we'll get that f prime of x is negative x over f of x. We also could have used slightly different notation. Instead of using f of x, we could have used the symbol y, giving us y prime equals negative x over y. Let's try this out with the circle. Here is our circle, and we just figured out that the slope of the tangent line to the circle is given by the formula negative x divided by y. So how about the tangent line at this point, which has the coordinate 0, r? Our formula says that the slope of this tangent line should be negative 1 times the x-coordinate, 0, divided by the y-coordinate, r, which equals 0. And that computation matches what we can see in the graph, that the tangent line should have 0 slope, be horizontal. What about at another point? How about the point r, 0? Our formula says that the slope of this tangent line should be negative 1 times the x-coordinate, r, divided by the y-coordinate, 0. Since the denominator is 0, the slope is undefined, which matches what we can see in the graph, that the tangent line is vertical. What about at one more point? How about the point 2 comma root 12? This tangent line isn't horizontal or vertical. It looks like it has a slope of roughly negative 1 half. Our formula says that the slope of this tangent line should be negative 1 times the x-coordinate, so negative 2, divided by the y-coordinate, root 12. This is roughly negative 0.58, which matches what we predicted by looking at the graph. So what we've seen here is a way to find derivatives and slopes of tangent lines for relations between x and y using the technique of implicit differentiation.